Well, hello, YouTubers. I uh, figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a update on the Expedition. Um, I finally got the uh, brakes fixed on it here, and you can see I got a new master cylinder today, and picked it up for about 40 bucks, and um, pretty easy to put on. The two 13 millimeter bolts, you got one right there. Actually, it's a nut. If I go on this side, you can see you got a nut there, and you got your two brake lines, and that's it. And of course, when they give you a master cylinder, they give you, uh, they, you can either get this uh, reservoir or you can just keep your old one if you take it off and all that and take this uh, sensor off right here. Uh, this is the uh, cruise control uh, switch when you hit your brakes, so the cruise control will kick off and make sure you take off your, this guy right here, this little extension tube, take that off because they certainly don't give it to you if you just want to buy the housing and save a little money that way so like i said i picked it up for 40 bucks and uh, once i got it in here um i put fluid in and everything and i just went ahead and hooked everything up now i was worried about bleeding uh the brakes on this uh expedition and i thought i'd do a little experiment now i know you're supposed to bleed the brakes but often i've had vehicles that i didn't really have to bleed the brakes i just patiently waited and kept pumping and starting the vehicle up and pumping and shutting it off and you can slowly over time feel that pedal come back up and uh right now uh, i pretty much got a full pedal and let me uh start it up and show you real quick hopefully this will take care of most of my uh, braking issues um if you watch some other videos about a month or two ago well probably more than that I replaced this ABS uh, pump right here where my finger is, this guy down here. Replaced that, and it seems to be doing okay right now. And uh, about oh, two weeks ago, the pedal just went to the floor one day, and if you saw some of my other videos that I had made on this uh, master cylinder, I tore it apart, and of course a couple of the seals were bad and all that. So now I'm happy to uh, report I have a full brake pedal, and it feels like brand new again. So here's what I did. Um, if you don't want to get under there and start bleeding the brakes and everything, you can try this first. If you have a little patience, it'll probably work for you. Um, I went ahead, like I said, put the uh, master cylinder on, put everything together, filled it up all the way to the top with the brake fluid. Then I went inside, and I didn't start the vehicle right away. I basically set in here, yeah, I know, I need to get a, another seat cover. You can get them for like $100. Other than that, the rest of the... The interior is in almost perfect shape. It's a really good running vehicle. It's only got 130,000 miles on it. Um, I got in the vehicle, and basically, I just started pumping away. I just, you know, it, when I first started pumping it, it was almost to the floor. I mean, it was way down there. So I just pumped away, and after about, uh, I don't know, four or five minutes, I could feel the pedal come up a little bit. Then I would start it up. Then once it was running... I uh, started pumping it again, then the pedal really went to the floor because, you know, you got your brake booster working and all that. So, uh, don't be uh, too alarmed. Just pump away and pump three or four minutes and shut it off again and keep pumping. And after about five minutes, I got the pedal up to about halfway and I shut it off again and restarted it a few times. And eventually, while it was running, I got the pedal to come all the way up. And let me start it up now and show you uh, how the pedal looks here. I think you can see my foot. I'm going to hit the brake, and you can see right there, pretty good pedal. And you can see the floor is way back, way back there. So um, I've got really good brakes now. I'm pretty happy about that. And actually, I'm going to pump a little bit more. And it feels really good, and I don't have any brake lights on or anything. And that seems to be doing okay. And... Um, I'll drop it in gear real quick. I got my trailer hooked up on the back of it, so I really don't want to drive it right now. Pull the trailer around. And you can see the pedal is holding really nicely in gear. So, uh, there you go. I just wanted to kind of show you guys. I wanted to shut this back off. It's pretty hot out here. I need to get me an aftermarket radio. Put back in here, a nice one. It was like that when I bought it. Um, other than that, uh, I'm living proof that you don't always have to bleed your brakes. Just over time, uh, the, the um, brake fluid will circulate through the system, and you get a return line here, and it'll come back into the master cylinder, and 
it will eventually bleed the air out. As you see, I tuck it off, I had a little bit of pressure there, so uh, it's actually, uh, the system's working really well. So I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, let me give you another look at it real quick. you probably see the tag on it there, the little green stamp. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So I just wanted to make a little video and show you guys if you have an Expedition, a Ford. Uh, you may not have to bleed it, but in extreme cases, you may have to bleed your brakes. And likely for me, this thing sets up pretty high where I can get under there. So I'm going to probably drive a little bit tonight and see how the brakes feel. And I'll put some new tires on it and start driving it again. But um, like I said, if you get these at the parts store, just make sure you take a lot of stuff off the old one um, for core. They give you $5 for this uh, master cylinder. And then when you do buy it, like I said, uh, you can either buy it with this plastic reservoir or you, or you can get it without. It doesn't matter. You'll save a few bucks that way. So uh, do your research and hopefully it'll work out for you. So, And I didn't really need much in the way of tools. I had a 13 millimeter deep well. And um, I used a 5 8 wrench. And I used, and this here, a smaller wrench right here, this uh, brake line, that's a 3 8 And that's really all you need. And it takes a little muscle to get this uh, housing off of this reservoir. I usually just use two big screwdrivers once I get this off and pry it apart. Then put your new one on. And when you go to put your new reservoir on, put a little grease around the bottom of the fittings here and kind of push it on there. My advice is put this on last. Bolt this on, the master cylinder on first. And get all your lines hooked up. Then push this down because it gives you a nice solid uh, um, place there to push down on it. And it works out uh, a little bit better, it seems like. All right, so that's it, guys, in this video. So if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. But, hey, try it, try it that way first if you want. And maybe it'll save you a little time. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. And until my next video, I'll see you then. Later.